Hey, how you doing? This is Vito from up here in Lovell, Wyoming. You are tuned to Trucker Josh and his partner in crime, Diesel. Be sure to enjoy the show. Don't forget to subscribe. Give us a thumbs up. truck wash. Check this out. We get the undercarriage first, I think. My windows are closed. <laughs> oh, let's go. Yeah, to turn it on. There we go. Oh my. Oh, oh boy. Oh boy. Oh, it feels good. Oh dear. There we go. Why is my truck jumping so much? There we go. So now it's washing away underneath there. This one guy in here is helping me through here because it's my first time, so apparently I gotta stop here for a bit and let it just uh, massage my underbody. Okay, now I'll come forward. My truck was jumping there. It's probably tired from going through the mountains yesterday. Okay, I'm gonna stop here for a bit. So it was $85 uh, just for a splash and dash. It's pretty much a rinse off. Gives you some soap and stuff too. Uh, $120 gets you the full platinum package, but I just went for the rinse right now. I just want to test this thing out, see how good this thing actually was. All right, now it's telling me to go forward again. seemed extra jumpy maybe because it's cold oh well, it's, it's washing under there I guess he's washing under the trailer for me usually I think you just slowly roll over that but this guy wanted to make sure that my underbody was all clean because it's got all that salt and everything from British Columbia under there okay so now he's like gonna roll forward till that red light comes on Where am I gonna go? Come on. Oh, there we go. Look at these guys. Well, only one side is getting soaked. Oh wait, nope, nope, both sides are getting soaked. Fascinating, eh? Automatic truck wash for trucks. First time for everything, folks. The only thing that's kind of irritating is that stoplight. It keeps flashing in my face. Oh, here goes our friends. What are they going to do now? You see them? Past all the soap. Whoa. It's like an alien. Now what? Now you're going to rinse it? No? Maybe not? It's been a long drive. I'm tired. And that red light flashing in my face is starting to irritate me. <laughs> oh, 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 it's starting to do something. Oh, it's soaping me again. Okay. So the passenger side gets soaked a little better. There we go. This side's soaping too. There you go. So that's what they told me it does. It soaps it twice and lets it soak. And it rinses it off. It's called a splash and dash. Chevy. You freaking out a little bit? You freaking out a little bit? Oh, aliens are attacking the truck down. 
Why are you scared? How can you be so calm at a time like this? It's okay, Jeff. <laughs> Truck wash. Truck wash, man. Our friends are out front again there. We're back to waiting. I guess it's letting it soak. I don't know. That thing won't stop flashing in my face, though. Let's all stare at it. No, that's not good. That's not good. I probably shouldn't do that. Hello? Mr. Alien? Excuse me? Can you rinse me off now? I think the show has begun. These guys are... Well, eh? It's not going to get nearly all the dirt off like the blue beacon would. But uh, it's something. I wanted to try it out anyway, right? And all I really needed to do was wash the freight off in the back there, so. Guess we'll see what happens. Like I said, it was a very long night, but we made it. So uh, we're just taking care of this and then get this off my trailer and I have to rush up to Sundra, Alberta, where I gotta pick up some lumber that's taking me home. It's rush, 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 but after we get that lumber, I'm taking a nap. It's gonna be so good. Still doing some. Oh, it's coming back now. It's rinsing on the way back. It's even got these like dryers here, right? Are these for when you drive out? It dries off your truck for you, or it's supposed to? Fascinating. Well, good morning, everybody. We just went through the automatic truck wash. Showed that on yesterday's video. Go back and watch it if you missed it. I didn't show it in depth or anything. You have to go check it out for yourself, but did a really good job actually. I'm surprised. I just got what was called the splash and dash. So it was sort of like a, a, a soapy rinse. 85 bucks. Still cheaper than the Blue Beacon. Not quite as good as the Blue Beacon, but it did a really good job. I didn't think the automatic wash would be that good. I was surprised. So we're gonna deliver our freight and then uh, Make our way towards Sun. Excuse my lack of enthusiasm. It's been a long, well, it was a long day yesterday. <laughs> now we're just trying to get loaded, reloaded before noon so that I can go and have a nap. A fantastic nap. I gotta get in this line. Yes, me. Thank you. truck's gonna get dirty right away again in this weather but I had to wash the freight because the the customer didn't want it tarped but they wanted it washed so what did the customer get they got it washed they didn't get it tarped they paid extra for it so there you go they didn't want me to put a bow on it though they paid a little extra if, if they would have paid a little extra I would have put a bow on it for them but they didn't want to pay for that service rushing rushing always rushing okay maybe not always but this trip has been whew, well, as fast as you can. Fast as the law will let you, anyway. Really wish all these people would not be here. They're in my way, slowing me down. We're in Calgary right now. I have an empty trailer behind you, but I haven't had time to even show you. I've got the freight off of there. I had two stops, and now we're booking it to Sundra. And it looks like we'll be there just in the nick of time. They want me there before noon. Because apparently they don't want to, they don't want to be there past two on a Friday. God forbid they have to work a full day on a Friday. So they're one of those people that like to go home early. So they don't want to. That's what they literally said. They said they don't want to load past two o'clock. So you got to be there by noon. That must be nice. Wish I could do that. You know, I don't want to deliver this today. I'll just deliver it tomorrow. I'm bugging. They're nice people. Meters, turn left on. Oh Heritage boy. Drive. And this guy just keeps matching my speed. This Ford Explorer. I slow up. I slow down. He slows down. I speed up. He speeds up. I need to get in your lane, buddy. So my signal device is signaling to you. So Calgary, like I always say, is my favorite Canadian city. The city is beautiful. It's a clean city. There's no areas in Calgary that you should avoid. It's all safe. 
It's one of those cities where you could probably leave your doors unlocked Turn left on. and nothing would happen. But I wouldn't recommend that. I'd still say lock your doors. But it's it's one of those cities. Not every Canadian city is like that. Winnipeg is definitely not like that. Okay, the stereotype of Canadians don't lock their doors. That's only specific areas. There are bad areas of Canada. I mean, there's there's nothing like the south side of Chicago or anything. You know what I mean? There's there's not like 500 deaths every weekend like in Chicago, but. There are areas that you probably want to avoid in Canada, and you probably know before you go. Winnipeg, there's some areas you want to avoid. Uh, I don't know the other cities that well. Uh, my sister lived in Calgary here. She was born here. My parents lived here for a while before I was born. Beautiful city. You know, they, they take care of it. They keep it clean. And, you know, everyone who lives here is here because they've got a job. So, uh, I know that there's still homeless people here. There's homeless people in every city, but... Uh, the average person here I think is very happy I don't know if you're from Calgary let me know are you happy living in Calgary I mean you all look happy all the time you're all driving your big four wheel drive pickup trucks everywhere you don't smile all the time though kind of aggressive drivers but hey it's still a beautiful city there we go green light see I like those so much better Green lights help me out. Red lights just slow me down. Oh no! Now we got a train? Oh, it's the C train. It's just that passenger train. Calgary's fancy. Look at that. They have a passenger train to get you from one end of the city to the other. Winnipeg's got buses. And they all go downtown. Nowhere else. So if you want to go anywhere in Winnipeg on public transit, doesn't matter where you are in the city. First you got to go downtown and then you got to go to wherever you want to go. Not very efficient, but hey, it's Winnipeg. Nothing's efficient there. So, uh, if we can get past all these annoying red lights, uh, we should be able to get there. I got 122 kilometers and an hour and a half to get there, so it'll be tight. Toy. What's that sign say over there? Tell us. No bandwidth for bullying. Stand with us to hashtag end bullying and help create a safer, friendlier world online. Wouldn't that be nice? Wouldn't that be nice? Good luck with that. Good luck. The internet is a crazy, terrible place. It's also a wonderful place. Maybe we should be just be teaching our kids to have a thick skin. One kilometer, turn right on you know? 14th Street. Maybe we should just be teaching them how to handle criticism and how to handle bullies and how to handle morons on the internet and not let words crush their souls. You know, what happened to the saying, sticks and stones may break my bones, but words will never hurt me. Now it seems like everybody's saying words are violence. Like they're saying words are actual violence. End the violence. We must have laws regulating speech because words are violence, just like punching someone in the face. You know, there's a block button if you don't like people. Like, very convenient. No, people tell, people say all kinds of mean things to me on the internet all the time. Sometimes I deserve it. Other times it's out of nowhere. Most times I probably deserve it. But hey, if they go too far, there's this little beautiful button. I just press it. It says block. I never have to hear from them again. It's awesome. I don't have to call the police. I don't have to go cry in a corner. I don't need a safe space. That little button's my safe space. That guy's bugging me. Block. Safe. Marked safe from bully. I haven't even had my coffee yet, people. Oh, Springs Church. This is where Springs Church is. 600 meters. Turn right on 14th Street. I went to that church when I was younger. In Winnipeg. It started in Winnipeg and they opened up a branch in Calgary. I was always wondering where it was. That's where it is. Huh. Got a lot of friends that go there. I grew up with them. Oh, and I bet you they live around here. This dump truck is ruining my view. 300 meters, turn right on 14th Street. Why? Am I allowed to ask that? Why? Why do you want me to turn there? Bossing me around all day. I can't even ask questions. Maybe I shouldn't ask questions, you know? I don't want to hurt her feelings. Make her, make her second guess herself. 
but I'll just do what she says, you know? I'm a nice guy. I wanna make her feel important. You're important, Karen. The world relies on you. Ah, oh, where are we? I've never been here before in this part of Calgary. That's probably why I didn't know that's where Springs Church was. Springs Church is a huge church. They also have a, a Christian school and everything. And in Winnipeg, they have, uh, they built a new church that's just massive. They have, I wouldn't doubt it if they had like 10,000 people the attending there. Take the entrance to the left on Glenmore Trail West. Oh, it's one of those uh, mega ones, but it's it's one of the better mega ones. I, I like it. What do I gotta do? Gotta turn left? Dang it. Excuse me. Pardon me. Pardon me. One more lane. Pardon me. Excuse me. Sorry. I'm trying to get through here, bud. Oh, I know where we are now. Okay. Oh. I went this way specifically because it uh, takes me uh, a different route than the scale that's always open north of Calgary. I don't know if they're doing inspections today, but I don't got time for an inspection today. I literally don't have time. I'm down to the minute. They pull me in for an inspection, and that ruins my whole weekend. I'm sitting here till Monday. If I don't get there by noon, I'm here till Monday. So there's no way I'm risking a random inspection today. I'm dodging that scale. That's right, Trucker Josh, dodging scales. Well... Yesterday felt like a really long day. We slept here in Medicine Hat, so I'm just waking up the next morning, gonna close up this vlog here and start the next one. I got some good news for you, but you gotta tune in tomorrow. Let's just show you what we were up to. This is what we did yesterday. Picked up this lumber, and this lumber's going all the way down to Iowa. I'm delivering it there next week. But first, for the good news, it involves babies or the possibility of a baby for Brit and I okay but you got to tune in tomorrow to watch that vlog so you better turn on your notifications so you don't miss it there's a little bell beside the subscribe button down below this video hit the bell and you'll get a little notification when tomorrow's vlog goes live we're really excited about it and I've got to rush home right now 10 hours home we'll see you in tomorrow's vlog for that Take care, everybody. I know today's vlog wasn't much, but uh, we did a lot of talking there in Calgary. Man, it was it was a long day for me. So, got a lot done. Tomorrow will be better. We'll see you then. Don't forget, I got some news tomorrow.